Hey guys, Harv here, and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. This is the test pilot, the series of videos in which you take a viewer submitted ships, test them out, and then maybe, maybe not make some improvements to them. We haven't been making many improvements to them. I think I might remove that from the title screen, because um, I don't really have time to a lot of the time, and sometimes things are just too damn awesome to be changed. This is the... What is it? What is it? The SR-98 Splitter, submitted by Captain Malik998. Thank you very much for the submission. And this is like a... it's a big blackbird plane thing. Um, it, it's a plane. Yeah, that, that's what it is. It's a plane. <laughs> Look at it. It's big. And despite having the ugly front cockpit, that's not the plane's fault. It's, um, it's actually the fault of the developers. I really, really don't like that. Hey, hang on, have they, have they put in new... Uh, is this new? I seem to remember that it didn't have this or something. Oh no, it's not new, it's just the fact that there's just... There's no window. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Um, no windows, but yeah, they have an IVA. I never saw that before. Didn't think about that. Um, why are we moving forwards? Yes, this is... This is a big plane. And look at it. It looks very intimidating, actually. Has it got advanced SES? Um, probably. It looks pretty well equipped. Let's take this for a spin. Engines on, and firing. I like the, uh, the tricoupler engine design. It's very interesting, and like the, the whole kind of hangar thing underneath, it's very interesting. Now what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna keep it at this angle, and see if it can take off. And it can! I think that's what the email said, and it can, absolutely. How many intakes has it got? A, a lot. <laughs> put it that way, it's got, how many, it's got two, three, four, five, six ram intakes, oh, again some lag, please don't explode, please don't, okay, it's alright, why am I getting this much lag, maybe it's just a big plane, <laughs> alright, so that's, um, yeah, let's, la let's land this, let's land this on that, yeah, on the HMS hood, no, I don't think so, um, we are going to circumnavigate Kerbin, because I've never done it before. I've actually, I've never done that. So that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to tip up. Um, and we are going to go all the way around the planet. Isn't that awesome? Yes, it's quite awesome. Quite awesome indeed. Now, the first thing we're going to do uh, is actually do a U-turn. A sort of U-turn. I mean, you could call it a U-turn. It's kind of a U-turn for planes. Going to go up and up. And up, and back over, and... It's spin! Now, that wasn't nearly as exciting as I hoped it was. Oh well, from now on the video is going to be non-stop excitement, because um, I really, really enjoyed this episode. You'd, uh... Excuse me, I'm just adjusting my chair. Ah, oh, gotta get that chair in the right position. Gotta be comfy. Uh, you'd expect... Oh yeah, he's, uh, he's flying a plane all the way around the planet. How, how boring must that have been? And, um... All of that, kind of just sitting there watching a plane being flown, listening to Skyrim music, um, all that, as we boost into 8x speed, was overshadowed by the fact that we had an awesome stop in the middle, which you're going to see very shortly, and when we got back, this is a success by the way, I just ruined it, I need to stop doing this, I keep on ruining, because you never know, it might not work, but um, there's an awesome ending as well, and there's I made an awesome video at the end. But yeah, keep watching! It's, it's funny. Um, and stuff, at least I hope it is. So yeah, this uh, this plane, it's fast! By God, it is fast. It is really, really fast. It's, it's only going 1.3 thousand meters per second at the moment, but um, it is fast. I think the top speed we get is something like 1,700 meters per second at around 25 kilometers. But yeah, we are literally, we've already crossed over to the second continent, and now we're, or, we're on our way to the next continent after that. Going around really quickly. But the thing is, you look at our fuel, and we have just over half our fuel left. That seems a bit premature, doesn't it? If you think about it, it's um, half our fuel gone already, and what are we, a quarter of the way around the planet? I don't know, we'll see in a second. Um, you could think it might be made up for the fact that we're getting lighter, and that means it's easier for the engines to push us through the atmosphere. But still, 
Still, still, still, seems a bit low. We shall see how that turns out. Anyway, we're cruising at about, there we go, on the map. We're cruising at about 26 kilometers or so. Um, we're actually coming up to that, uh, that, that thing, that, um, that target. Yeah, that, that disappointing thing. Where is it? Let me have a look at it. It's, yeah, those are the mountains, and if you just look to the left, there's the island. With nothing on it. So, so I thought. There might have been something on it. Some, one, one person said in the comments, there was something there. But that was only one person, so you never know. Could have been lying. Could have been trying to make me look like a fool and go back and face the same disappointment. But yeah, this, this fuel is running fairly low. I've got to say the fuel, the, uh, the whole ship design in general was pretty good. Um, with some adjustments, you can trim using Alt and the keys, but uh, with some adjustments, it'll definitely work. And who knows? Halfway around the planet, and we have ran out of fuel. Whew. Oh man, this is not looking good for the test pilot. Not looking good whatsoever. Look at the bottom left, look at the bottom left. We have no fuel left whatsoever. And I was, you know, piloting this thing, looking at the empty cockpit, just piloting, opening those gears and looking at the bottom left-hand corner. There is no fuel left in any of our tanks. In in any of our tanks. Look at the top right. We have 900 litres of fuel left. <coughs> yeah, uh, yes. I, you know, I was all for finishing the episode. <laughs> just uh, getting in, we're getting close to land. I've brought it down, we're going, it's really good glider as well, this plane is. Turn the lights on, nice landing lights we've got there. And we'll just slow down the video, because at this point, I actually finally cast my eyes over the uh, top right corner of the screen. Yeah. Ooh, what's that? We have about, oh yeah, six full tanks of fuel. Oh. So we may have just wasted a load of fuel coming down to 500 meters above the ground. Um, let's let's transfer. Wait, don't turn the engines on. We need to actually turn them off. We were speeding up slightly. But yeah, um, okay, let's land and then transfer all the fuel back into the main section. And then we'll fly and complete the journey. But um, yes, the... Uh, the uh, any criticisms about any criticisms about the plane have to be that fuel transfer didn't work correctly. Um, there are no f fuel lines going from the outside tanks to the inner tanks. And there we go, there's landing. Very good at landing though. I need to like sum up all the good and bad things. Uh, good things, it can fly, it's pretty stable at flying. Um, it can carry loads of fuel and it well, has enough fuel to go all the way around the planet. Um, bad thing, the fuel lines aren't all present, um, but it's no problem. We can do a half. They probably they probably land anyway. You know, any person doing a circumnavigation, it's been oh Christ, it's only been forty minutes or so. <laughs> Maybe they wouldn't, but um, yeah, pit stop halfway through just to shift fuel around in the tanks. Um, no problem. Just trying to get it even now. Leave each outside tank with about ninety liters of fuel left in it. And though we can shift the remaining amount back in once we get back into the air and start burning some of it. But yeah, it, it was, wasn't too much of a problem just to land and do that. Although, no quick save in atmosphere whilst flying. So if I crashed, I would have had to do this whole thing all over again. But anyway, that, that's not a problem. That's, that's my problem, not yours. And it's not actually my problem at all. Let's start up those engines and get back into the air. Oh, another good feature about the plane, it lifts off beautifully. Let's transfer that fuel back in, just a second, now that we burnt enough fuel. Okay, just tipping forwards a bit more, getting our attitude sorted. Oh no! A flame out! I forgot about that. Flame out! That's not good. I mean, sometimes, I've, it's flamed out in the past. Uh, once we started this mission, there were a few flame mounts, but it was always the top engine, which is fine because it's directly along the center of mass. But um, yeah, we need to right ourselves and we get lots of shuddering and shaking, but we managed to recover despite doing a full, a full spin, a flat spin, and we can transfer fuel back into the uh, front of the ship. And there we go, back on our way with 680 litres of fuel left, or gallons. Is it gallons? Was it litres? 
I somehow think it's gallons. I think it's gallons. More. I have no idea about liquids, you know, and that kind of thing, but whatever. Um, we're currently at eight times speed in the video, and you can just see that we're flying over the surface. Even, I was, a pl I was obviously playing at two times speed, if you... No, wait, wait, we're, okay, we're at 16 times speed um, in the video because I was playing at two times speed, and to me, I was still leaping, you know, just soaring over those uh, consonants. And if you actually look at the uh, the middle engine, have I fixed it already? No, look at the middle engine. It's powered down. It's not it's not red. What what's going on here? Yeah, the um that it had a flame out earlier, which I didn't notice because obviously it's right in the middle, so it didn't affect our spin or anything. But um, just shut it down, shut it back on, and it seems to be working again absolutely fine. Only two hundred or so liters of gallons liters of gallons of fuel left, but we are nearly there. Look, look, it's that island, and then we are just off course a little, actually. Um, we need to tip left and try and get back onto the runway. You see we're a bit north of the space centre. But yeah, we are so nearly back home. This is a short video because flying through atmosphere isn't particularly interesting. It's taken me an hour so far, if you, if you look at the actual mission time. One hour to circumnavigate Kerbin. I think that's got to be a record. How long did it take to circumnavigate uh, the Earth? Maybe 24 hours or so? Um, yeah, this is a very, very fast plane indeed. Absolutely. Brilliant plane. Very, very good. Um, so yes, I, I have to say this is a five-star plane, in my opinion. Um, a five-star test pilot. I think in the future, test pilot is going to change a little. It's not going to be test piloting and making improvements. It's going to be ship reviews. Oh, and we have to do an aileron roll. I think I said that right. We have to do an aileron roll because, I mean, you're in a plane. It ju it's just law. You just have to. But um, yes, test pilots, I think, will become a more of re a review show. Uh, I do lengthy flights and then talk about the good things and the bad. But we are coming in for our landing as the HMS HUDs directly park next to each other as they cause me a little lag. Um, still need to land the VTOL on them. Still need to do it, but we are only we have only got twenty or so liters gallons of fuel left. Open up the landing gear and try and get ourselves over to the runway. Viewing this at one time speed because I want you to have the full effect. This was so exciting! Wow, it really, really was. I had a massive amounts of fun doing this, and um, we come in. Just tilt slightly. We are on course. I am not good at landing, but this made me feel on top of the world. Seriously. Okay, come again, come again. Pull up a little at the last second. Just touch it down under five meters per second and bounce back into the air. Oh god, no. Down and bounce up again. And down and bounce up again. Turn on those brakes. We've got to slow down. We are running out of runway. And there we go. Absolutely fine. A 5 out of 5 star plane, the SR-98 Splitter, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you want to submit your own test pilot ships, do so by emailing me at hockgaming at alive.co.uk. Instructions are in the description of the video. Thank you oh so very much for watching. Thank you for submitting this ship, Captain Malik. And I shall see you all next time. Oh, there's a bit of a video left. Uh, fly safe. No, wait, that's Scott Manley's thing. Um... More videos to come. Just, just, I'll, I'll see you all next time. Really? The video's still going? Really? I thought I ended it here. Yes, yes. The end. That's it. Good night. Goodbye.